Hello, I'm Brent, and in this video, I'm going to be installing backsplash tile. I'm going to be putting in this 3x12 subway tile, and I'm going to do a third stepped. When I'm doing my stove area, what I like to do is put a row of tile just down. I don't go all the way to the floor, just a row of tile down one below the countertops. So the first thing I need to do is get a board across to hold up my tile in this area here. So to get this in, we're gonna go down a tile. So double check it's nice and level, and we're pretty good. Take a tile, and you're gonna want a grout line above this. So we're gonna be down a little bit. I'm gonna start on this side. I like to start, it's like, you know, reading a book, start left, go left to right, unless I have to start in the middle. So I'm gonna use a notch trowel. This is a quarter by quarter by quarter. You can use a mastic, but I use, I usually have a leftover bag of tile adhesive. Um, so I just use what I have left over and mix it up. Cause you don't need very much. Uh, I don't like using mastic because where I am, it gets cold in the winter and I leave it in the truck and it freezes. If you need to build out some areas and cheat, I also find that the mastic won't, it takes long to dry and could have some soft spots. So I don't like to, I like to use just a mixed kind. I'm using a white because I got a white tile going on. So I'm going to do two rows just to get everything, make sure it's all leveled and I get kind of my layout and I don't have to worry about cutting receptacles. I pulled these receptacles out and taped them up so I don't get zapped. You can shut them off, but I always like to tape them up. It's good to put something down to protect your countertops and it just makes it a lot easier for cleaning up. You're not overly concerned about the direction of the combing because only when you're doing big tiles because you want to let the air escape when you put it on but in this case we're not really concerned. We just want to get some adhesive on, tile adhesive on the wall. So I'll get started with the first one. Push the tile in tight with the other one. And you can do a bunch of them and then you want to pull them away and get your spacers in. And if you have a little bit of squeeze out, you want to wipe it before you put the spacer in. Okay, I'm going to start the second row while I do this. I've already got this guy marked and this guy marked so I know where my thirds are. Same thing, you want to start tight, double check it's nice. And then what I'll do is I won't even worry about the spacers. You get the glue off. I'll just put a bunch of tiles on. See, so I got some squeeze out there. I'll clean it with the sponge. And then once I've got a few tiles in, then I'll come back and get the spacers in. That way you get a bunch on, you can wipe it all off, keep it nice and clean, so you're not cleaning everything out afterwards. Because you don't want to make a big mess, because it's really hard to clean up with the tile spacers, and it's even harder to clean up after you let everything dry. So here I've got a little bit of squeeze out. Just make sure it's not on the surface. And we'll work our way down. I can cut this piece now. See how this stuff cuts. Oh yeah, nice. That's a nice cut. You can use a grinder or a wet saw, but this is nice because you're inside. Oh, maybe a little tight, but okay. So we'll check it's nice and smooth. I'm gonna come back to this area, so I just want to clean off this extra mortar for now so it doesn't dry. Marked. 
I'm going to try and pull from a few different boxes just in case the color's off, just so you can keep things random. This tile is pretty forgiving because it's not a smooth tile. A little dab on the back there. Now what I want to do is just double check that everything is working out the way I want it to. Well, that's looking pretty good. A couple spots I'm a little high. When I'm filling in these little pieces, I just put it on the back of the tile. A little too much.
back to that. Yeah. I don't even need to cut that one. I think something like that. What is it? Three by what? Three by twelve. <laughs> Okay, tile is all installed. I didn't bother up there because the hood's gonna cover all that anyways. As you can see, I probably could have centered it. That's a little small one, that's a big one, but you're never gonna see it. And you, I'm getting a little too picky if I'm concerned about that. I'm gonna take that thing off. This tile should all be set enough now and it's gonna be easier to take that off before the mortar gets really hard. And I'll let it sit overnight and I will grout it. See you tomorrow.